Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for tomorrow, the 21st. So this is for the 21st, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is for somebody, whoever needs it the most. Thursday, February 21st, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we got for the 21st? Please show me. Ooh. This card reminds me of gambling. <laughs> it does. Flipping a coin. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Isn't we've been a coin? Could be making a choice. About whether you, whether you want to save something or not. Whether you want to give up your stability or you want to hold on to something. I mean, because if you look at the four of pentacles are on that window back there. And he's gambling with, you know, another opportunity. So it looks to me like there's another opportunity and somebody is like, should I take this risk or not? Should I take this risk? There's another opportunity. I mean, this is an ace of pentacles. There's potential. There's potential here. And somebody is like, hmm, do I want it or not? And it's about taking action, you know. I don't know. They're probably not going to think about it. Somebody may be taking a risk, taking at that gamble. Yes, absolutely. Somebody may be uh, going for it. It's time. I'm going for it. I'm just going. I'm just going to take this opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they don't have the they don't have the ability to restrain themselves. Maybe it looks so good that they can't. This could be a really big, bright opportunity, and it's so attractive, right? Because it's a bright opportunity. It's a very attractive opportunity, whatever it is. She's got the Ace of Pentacles in her hand too. So there could be an attraction that comes about on this day. It could be an instant attraction. Just saying. I mean, this this, this something could happen instantly. Where there's like no ability to restrain yourself. It's a gamble. It's a risk. But somebody decides to take that risk. There's risky business here. <laughs> there is risky business here. And I think it's because there's impulsive energy where it's just, this looks so good. This looks so hot. You know what I mean? Or something like that. There's a very, um, f there's a feeling of uh, awe. You know, this is wow kind of energy. Um, I feel like there's a person here that is probably looking really good. Um, they're feeling really good. They are doing quite well. They're they're sending out an energy that a, a positive energy. You know, they may be looking very attractive, and somebody may be you know honing in on that. Just saying. They may not be able to restrain themselves from um, taking this risk. Just saying. Um, with, we have a lot of abundance here. This this person is somebody is very abundant. Somebody is really. Maybe we have an independent person here that is is ready. And they're sending out those pheromones. You know what pheromones are? Because I feel like we have somebody that is very attracted to this independent person. They're just feeling like, wow. I mean, there is a strong attraction here that is probably kind of risky. Whatever that means. Um, somebody could be heading in at, into your life like out of the blue all of a sudden they're like right in front of you it's like woo wow um, and you might not have the ability to turn your back on it whatever it is um, isn't that funny I mentioned the four of coins now we have it it's going right underneath this five of coins Them, somebody's thinking about giving up their stability it's like giving sharing I'm going to because this is the Four of Pentacles. I'm really like taking a risk. I'm serious. 
somebody is really thinking about, you know, giving in or sharing with somebody or letting go of a grudge or letting go of protecting themselves, whatever, coming out of hiding. It's like somebody is really thinking, and maybe they're not even going to think about it. Maybe they just take the risk. Maybe it's just like, they don't even think about it. It's just, this is a risk and they take it. You know, it's a instant kind of thing that looks like it's pretty instant to me. Unbelievable. Woo! Yee! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There's definitely a temptation here. There is. There's a serious temptation here. It's a big one. And I feel like, you know, there's an there's an ability to keep things under control or not. That it's going to be up to you. Can you can you keep your keep it in your pants or can you keep it? Um, I don't know where that it just fell out of my mouth. Okay, can you um, keep it under control? Can you uh, refrain yourself from getting involved in something based on you know exterior? You know whatever this is. I feel like somebody is being faced with some sort of. Uh, undeniable attraction in which it could lead to trouble <laughs> just saying it could lead to trouble it could I'm sorry to say it could it could be an illusion and you're really gonna have to open your eyes to this situation I think that it, it may be a little bit too uh, unrealistic whatever it is I'm sorry it could lead to some hurt and I feel like somebody has um, really found their self-worth, found their abundance, found their ability to just be fine on their own. You know, we have somebody here that is doing very, very well, just just enjoying life, looking good, feeling good the whole nine yard, done a lot of healing. We have somebody that has let go of the past hurts. I'm just so good on my own. I'm just, I'm really, really good. I've let this go. I, I'm no longer, I forgive, whatever. This This person up here is just like, not wallowing in the pain anymore this person is not wallowing in the pain it's like i'm letting the past hurts go and i think that this person is now ready for this person to come into their life and this person probably senses their vibration their aura whatever they sense the the pheromones the whole nine yards whatever they sense the vibration and it's like they they can't restrain themselves because the attraction is so strong and I feel like this person probably just knows. This person is probably just is like, I know that I can't stop myself. This is what I want. This is like, I know, you know, I really know that, you know, this is, this is, this is going to make me happy and I want this happiness. So I feel like we have somebody that is heading towards another person, lickety split, literally. And, um, they, they, you know, <laughs> be careful. Be careful because this person may not be as honest as you would hope, okay? They may um, be deceptive or they may, or maybe even if you know this person, maybe they've been deceptive in the past and maybe they want to come back. I don't know. Maybe they see that you've healed. If this is somebody from the past, it could be because we got somebody that wants to go back. Um... It's like this person, he want, they want to go back. So somebody from the past could want to go back to what they left. You know, um, maybe the ties have been severed and they don't want them to be completely severed. They don't want that cord to be cut. This person's already cut the cord. The cord has been cut. I no longer invested in the past. I've let go of the past. This person has let go of the past. I know my worth. I have plenty to offer. I'm stable. I'm secure. I'm enjoying my life. I'm, I'm fantastic. You know, she's happy. We have somebody here that's very happy. It's been through uh, some sort of renewal, a rebirth, you know, and just very confident. We have a very confident individual here who, who is no longer holding on to the past. And then we have somebody that wants to go back. They want to go back. They, this person wants to go back. 
this person probably wants to go by because this person is no longer invested. There's no more investment here. There's been some, somebody may want you to give them a chance now that you are no longer waiting for them. You're no longer waiting for them. So perhaps they want you to give them a chance. Maybe they're seeing things clearly now. You know, we got a full moon. We have, we're, we, we just had a full moon and that's when, um, you know, all the reality checks come in. So somebody, this is a reality check. So perhaps somebody has received a reality check that I need to get my ass in gear before, you know, this opportunity is completely gone. So I feel like somebody is trying to take back control of a situation before it's too late. I feel like there's a strong, strong attraction between two people that is undeniable. And even though this is risky, this person probably says, you know what, this is going to make me happy. And I would like, you know, <sighs> what would they like? Let's find out. Let's get another card. What is this Knight of Wands? What's this guy coming in? What the hell is he doing? This person is like ready. He's like coming no matter what. He's coming. Yeah, coming with some love. Coming with a cup of love. He sees well, He sees that this woman is emotionally available. He sees that she's a lover, right? He sees that she's kind and compassionate. And he has to go get her because if he doesn't, somebody else is going to... So, because she's she's full of love. So, he sees that this woman is... <laughs> a beautiful soul. I mean, that's what he sees. He's looking at her. So, I feel like we have a man that is coming at, going after some woman. He is definitely going after there's... She's given up. I think this woman has given up on love. I don't know, because she's got a couple loves. She's ready. She's ready. She may not be prepared for this man to arrive. She may, even though she's ready, she may not think it's going to happen now. Well, it could happen now, just saying. Get prepared. So she may not be prepared. Uh-oh. Emperor reversed. We have, we have somebody here that wants to take back control. I said it with the devil card. Now, for sure, I'm positive. We have someone wants to take back control of a situation. There's no doubt about it. This person may be angry. This person may be upset. They've lost control. They may be upset that, that this woman or the, whoever it is, man or woman, has given up. This person is doing so well. This is lack of courage. This person, you guys see what's next? This person hasn't had the courage to go back for some reason. This is weakness. Lack of courage. Lack of integrity as well. So I think the ties have already been severed. And this person realizes, because this is finally realized. This is awake, wakes up. This is reality check. The moon reversed is <laughs> no more illusion, okay? You can't, you can't. No. Reality check. Okay. And I feel like somebody has received a reality check that they're going to have to face their fears and go back. I don't know if they are or not. Oh, the time could be now. Maybe the time is now. It's time to heal this situation. It's time to bring peace back. It's time to bring peace back to the situation. The only way to bring peace back to the situation is to make some, this is a card of compromise. You might have to make some compromises. So I feel like somebody may be ready to make some compromises. Maybe they have went through some sort of transformation. Maybe they've went through some sort of spiritual renewal. Maybe it's happened overnight because something's happened pretty fast here. Could have been with this full moon that we just had. Maybe they get some sort of epiphany that... You know, this is the person that makes me happy. Or they've been watching this person and they got to go. They wanted to take this risk. Whether this is somebody from the past or not. I feel like we have somebody here that wants to take control of a situation. You know. They want their happiness. They want, they're going after their happiness. There's been a lack of integrity though. And I feel like whoever this person is that. didn't follow through in the past 
is now wanting some sort of renewal. But they might fear that they're going to be rejected. They might fear that their apology won't be accepted. Maybe they fear that they wasted too much time. I don't know. Uh oh. Maybe that maybe there's somebody new. Maybe maybe they feel like their opportunity won't be accepted because this other person has another option. There's definitely two options here. There is two options here. And I feel like somebody sees that this, this independent woman has another option. Could be independent man as well. This is an independent person. So we have this independent person who's doing so good. I'm fine. Um, this person is good on their own. I am good. I'm at peace. I am at ease. I, I am fantastic. I mean, I'm good. I wake up in the morning with a smile on my face. I'm not holding on to the past, going about my day, enjoying life. Everything. I'm happy. This person is happy. You know, And they don't care. It's like, I don't care. I want a solid offer and no offer at all. And I feel like whoever this person is that is looking back knows that this person will only accept the solid offer. Because this person is so good. I mean, that's something solid in her hand. It's either you, you come with something that, you know, you can match me with or don't come at all. You know, so, and this person, you know that is looking back knows that they know that they're going to have to make some compromises to heal a situation or to combine or to come together with this person, whether it's somebody new or somebody old. I think there's two options. I think there's an option with somebody new and there's probably some people here are still holding on, waiting for an apology from somebody from their past that, that whatever. Anyhow, we have a, we have a love connection here with somebody that is very, it's a beautiful love connection absolutely beautiful um this is kind of like i mean i would call this a ideal partner okay somebody that mirrors your soul somebody that you know it's like it's a, see the swans they're like mirroring it, it it's like mirroring each other it's like it's just a very easy gentle loving compassionate connection and it it is not i mean this is passion this is compassion it's it's a very beautiful connection so I think we have two people that are coming together probably unexpectedly that <laughs> really surprises somebody I think it's I think it's a surprise I think it is quite a surprise I think it's it's risky I think that this person that is charging in that's that's moving very quickly has has decided that you know, this is an opportunity that I don't want to drop, that I don't want to lose, you know, that I'm going to have to open up, let go of my grudge, let go of my stance, stop having to come out of hiding and speak my truth before this person accepts another opportunity. So I don't know who this is for, but I feel like this person, somebody, I think there's two people here. I do. I, th I do. I think there's somebody new and there's somebody old. I think there's two people here. I think the person that is wants to come back from over here really doesn't have a lot of courage, but they may find it. They could find it overnight. It could happen just like that. It could. If they need to go after this woman whose heart is, I mean, she wants love. We have a woman here who's like, oh, where's my soulmate? Where's my soulmate? Where's my soulmate? You know, that's what she's, she's, she's just like, I want love. I want love. I want love. And because she's saying that, that's what she's sending out to the universe, and she's absolutely calling it a soulmate. So whether this is a man or a woman, okay, we have somebody here. I think it's a woman. She's calling in her soulmate, and her man, her soulmate, is hearing the call. And I think her man is head. They're headed towards each other. I think these two people are headed towards each other. And I feel like there's there's another person that's on the sidelines that is probably. Um, knowing that this woman is calling in her soulmate i mean they could feel that energy too so you know i feel like we have a, a transition that is happening we have a transition that is happening and it's happening very quickly because somebody has found their worth and they're they've 
they're calling in they're calling in a solid stable emotionally fulfilling heartfelt connection that could lead to a lot of happiness so I feel like I really feel like something is gonna happen something is gonna happen out of the blue that is quite I don't know I think it's it's an undeniable connection put it that way it's out of control the connection is out of control you know what I mean the connection is it's such a beautiful connection that's all I can think it's a beautiful connection um, this is this is dropping burdens somebody may be dropping a burden they may be dropping a grudge that they've held on to and just deciding to move forward I'm gonna take this risk and fall in love I'm gonna I'm gonna let go I'm gonna let go of what I've held on to and I'm gonna open my heart and I'm gonna accept love so yeah I feel like there's an unexpected choice in love that comes about out of the blue that could make somebody very 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 happy we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. I think I said them all. We have everybody. Doesn't matter. Somebody, the burdens that they have been holding on to are going to be dropped okay somebody is is letting go of a burden because all I want is happiness and they're taking a big risk on love that's what I see and I think that this risk could lead to a lot of happiness there's no doubt so yeah that's what I have let's get one of these because you know how much I love this deck It really is. It's an ideal match. It really is. It's unexpected. Unexpected love connection. That's what this is. Or unexpected love offer. That happens fast. Out of the blue. I don't know for who. But let's get one of these. Go slow. Good luck with that. Good. <laughs> Fogged in. Go slow. Take time. Even if you can't see what's around the next corner, go forward slowly and gently. That's going to be hard because this attraction is so big. It really is. That's why this card has come out to give you that little warning. Just go slow. Even if you can't see what's around the next corner, go forward slowly and gently. You are safe. When you take the time to go slowly, new perceptions emerge that you can't see if you're moving fast. Move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the majesty of stillness. Resist, resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct. Good luck with that. Take time to tune in to your deeper intuition. Power is born in those times when you relax into the present moment. And that's funny because this is when somebody acts on their st instinct. Okay. This is deeper intuition. And this is just relax. If it's meant to be, it will be. Anyhow, I'm going to keep going. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct. Take time to tune into your deeper intuition. Power is born in those times when you relax into the present moment. Just go with it. I would say just go with it, but go slow. <laughs> Sometimes the mist and the fog are so thick that the traveler feels uncertain about everything. And that's why we have the risk. Where am I going? What am I meant to do? Why can't I see what's ahead? However, in those moments of unknowing, that the deepest and most profound answers to life's big questions can emerge. The secret, the secret 
is to traverse slowly and carefully so that you do not fall off the path. Be careful. No, I said be careful. Proceed with caution. <laughs> Listen to the whisperings of your soul. Trust your inner voice. I see an unexpected love offer coming in for somebody. I hope it's you. Good luck.